Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. So first to start things off, unlike a normal 3x3, three three, there are no centers, as you can see. So you have no idea what color is supposed to be where, because there's just no way to see. And also, there are different brands of 2x2. Two two. The main other brand is an Ishin, which instead of an orange side, it has a pink side. So that really doesn't really affect it. Alright, to get the first layer of it, you have to find each of the corners of any color that you want, but also make sure that these sides are all permuted correctly. So first, let me just scramble this up some. Alright. So first, just find the corner that you want to start off with. For instance, I'm using green, red, and white. So next, you want to find a green corner that goes here that has white, so it will be correctly placed. So let's look for it. Alright, here it is green and white. So move it below where it needs to go like this. And all you have to do is simply RI. D I R and that will put that corner into its place. Next we want to find the next corner of course. So that would be a green and orange corner. So there it is. Just move it below where it needs to go, which should be there, and do the same algorithm. R I D I R. Okay, and the last corner which is here. Now for this case, the green is on the bottom side and not facing this way or this way. So what you do is we do R prime D2 R, and that will give it give us a situation where we can use that other algorithm. So R I D I R, and that will solve the top layer. Now in some situations, the green will be facing this way instead of to the right. So in this instance, doing R-I-D-I-R will put it in incorrectly, like this. So to solve that, we do the reverse of R-I-D-I-R. Uh, instead we do L-D-L-I, and that will solve it into its place. Now if you mistakenly misplace two corners, it's simple to switch them. So for instance, this corner here is flipped with this corner. So simply what you do is to take the corner out, you do R-I-D-I-R, and I have the corner out. Simply move it below where it needs to go, and do L-D-L-I. Now note that even though there was a corner already in there, it does not affect how that algorithm works. And now, since it's facing this way, we do that different algorithm. R I D I R. Alright, for the other layer, I, oops, all you do is turn the cube over so that the solved layer is on the bottom, like this. So now you want to get the opposite color side done. So for instance, I have to get the blue side. So first you must orient the corners so that they're in the right spots and that all they need to do is be flipped. So for instance, this corner here would be in the correct place because yellow, yellow, red, red, and blue needs to go on top. So that is oriented correctly because it's in the right place. It just needs to be flipped. So next, we need to have an algorithm that will swap these three corners with each other in a cycle. And it will not affect this corner that is permuted correctly. So what the algorithm is, U, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. And that will rotate these three corners with themselves and leaving this corner unaffected. So now, 
they are still not oriented correctly as this corner needs to go here, this corner needs to go here, and this corner needs to go there, and you know. So we do that same algorithm. U R wait. <laughs> U R U I L I U R I U I L. And that will permute all of the corners so that they are in the correct place. And that all they need to do is be turned around in a way. Alright, so the last step only needs one more algorithm. And that is an algorithm that will turn these corners around. So the algorithm is R I D I R D. R and you just keep repeating that till the corner is flipped around right. R I D I R D. R I D I R D. R I D I R D. So now this corner is now oriented correctly. Now it looks like I might just be scrambling it up again, but don't worry. Once you have that corner done, uh, go move the top layer so you have the next corner in that place, and do the same algorithm until it's oriented correctly. So now that corner is now correctly oriented. Now I do the same thing, so that is now in its place. And we do the same algorithm. R I D I R G. Now it's correctly oriented, and now we just do another move to get the last corner where we need it. And that will solve your 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. This is the end of the tutorial.